August 1, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 524 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. In the last 24 hours at least five different military enlistment officers in various Russian Federation nations have had their entry attacked with firebombs. A large number of Shard drones were launched from Primorsko Aktarsk airstrip vicinity on the Sea of Azov in the last hour, destination unknown at time of writing. Dnieper line. The Kremlin shelled a hospital, killing one surgeon. Unfortunately for the Kremlin, everyone on scene was trained in medicine and most of the victims will survive. Otherwise, mostly light shelling. Zaporizhia front. Fighting near the town of Luhov south of Kamiansky on the Dnieper was reported by Kremlin mouthpieces with no information released by Ukraine on any such. At the Morkiola town of Staromyorsky, Moscow's army attempted to make entry to the south side of the town but were repulsed in multiple attempts. Also light shelling. East front, Donetsk. The Kremlin continues to empty jails and its problem lands by sending attack waves. Today the attacks were limited to Marienka vicinity, both were repulsed. Heavier shelling than anything west, with six artillery duels reported. Bakhmut area. The Kremlin's placement of reserves and newly mobilized troops into Klishchivka and Andreevka have increased the number of targets for Ukrainian troops while slowing gains. Oskol border front. Even the Kremlin bots aren't speaking of successes here anymore. Ukraine may end up taking back Svato before the end of September at this rate. Northern border. A Kremlin sabotage group was discovered and destroyed in Chernihiv near Semenivka. Shelling along the border with Russia in Sumy was rather regularly spaced. Black Sea. Three Ukrainian surface drones struck a Kremlin naval group, inflicting what was first reported as five casualties. Resulting ship conditions are unknown at this time. Explosions in Crimea and around Mariupol. Ukraine world related. Belarus has crossed the Polish airspace with a helicopter, which we regret to inform you was apparently not immediately turned into a firework. Rheinmetall will be manufacturing F-35 hulls starting in 2025. Finland is considering sending tanks to Ukraine. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.